Welcome to 10 Minute Transformations. My name is Janet, and today's 10 minute quick yoga class is yin yang yoga. So to understand what that means, yang yoga is the yoga that's active, it's strong, and we'll do some of that first. And then yin yoga is slow, cooling, deep stretching. So yang is masculine in energy and yin is feminine in energy. So we're gonna start right off getting some sun salutations to warm up the body. So stand on your mat at the top of your mat and here we go. As you inhale, sweep your arms high. This is mountain pose. Drop your shoulders down, draw your tail under and pull your belly inward. Breathe out and bow forward. Keep a softness to your knees as you bow all the way down. Maybe your hands touch the mat, maybe they don't, it's okay. Inhale, halfway lift, glide your fingers up your legs, squeeze your shoulder blades together, create as much flatness in your back and shift a little more body weight toward the balls of your feet than the heels of your feet. Keep breathing, inhale. As you exhale, plant your palms, step back to plank the top of a push-up. Okay, you have some options. You can hold plank pose, very yang, very strong. You could push back to downward facing dog. You could come down to your knees, shift forward, and lower to your belly as you breathe out. Your inhale is gonna bring you into low cobra if that's your choice. A strong yang option is to shift forward to lower halfway, lift to upward facing dog, very strong, knees and thighs off the mat, and breathe out, downward facing dog. Take a breath here, inhale, exhale, and down dog, the hips are high, the arms are strong, breathe in, look forward, and as you exhale, walk to forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to mountain. That's round one. We're gonna do four more rounds, flowing with the breath, make the modifications, skipping the push-up or coming onto the knees if you need to. Let's flow. Breathe in, mountain. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms and step to plank. Make your choice, shift forward. On or off the knees, lower halfway. You can be waiting in down dog. Breathe in, upward facing dog or cobra. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Hips high, body looks like an inverted letter V. Take another deep breath in. Stand down dog as you breathe out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward, fold. Three more rounds. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain, keep flowing. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your palms and step to plank. Breathe in, shift forward on or off the knees. Breathe out, lower all the way or halfway. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold down dog, breathe in. Breathe out, hips high, push your heart back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward, two more rounds. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your palms, step to high plank. Weight in down dog or shift forward. Lower all the way or halfway. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Take a couple of breaths. Stretch it out, maybe bending one knee and then the other. Hips high. Palms, fingers spread nice and wide. Inhale, look forward, breathe out, step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. One more round. Inhale, all the way up to mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, plant your palms, step to high plank. Breathe in, shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way or halfway. Breathe in, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward, facing dog. Breathe in here, a couple of breaths. Ooh, that is definitely the yang part of our practice. Let's shift forward to high plank. Do one more yang pose, hold here for 30 seconds in high plank. 
Tuck your belly up and in. Modify on the knees if you need to. Keep breathing. You are halfway. 15 seconds longer holding strong. Feeling yang. Feeling the heat built in your body. You've got it. Here we go. Last three. Don't give up. We got it. Two. One. Shift forward. Lower all the way to your belly. And that finishes the yang part of our practice. Yin yoga is about slow, deep stretching. And we're going to start with a back bend called Sphinx. Think of the Sphinx in Egypt. You start to press your heart up. Move your hands forward so that your elbows line directly up beneath your shoulders. Now reach across and hold on to your opposite elbow. And you can stay like that if you like. The trick with yin yoga is slowing down and holding the posture. So we're going to hold here for a full minute. If it's too much for you, you can always release and come back down. Yin yoga is the feminine aspect of slow, dark, cool, calm. So just relax and breathe. When your body is warmed up with yang yoga, you might determine that you feel a little more flexibility in the body. We're almost there. After this point, we're at 30 seconds, your body starts to surrender to the stretch. I'm hoping you're feeling it in your abdomen. I do feel strength in my upper back, my shoulders holding me upright, but I'm stretching out the abdomen here. You're almost there, last 10 seconds. As you move into the yin part of the practice here, you wanna move slowly, even in and out of each posture. So we're going to release slowly by setting our palms down, stacking one on top of the other, open the elbows, rest your forehead on the back of your arms. Release by bending the knees and windshield wiper your feet side to side, nice and slow. This helps to release the lower back. We'll move from a back bend to a hip opening forward fold, moving slowly, place your palms beneath your shoulders. Use some arm strength to slowly push up to tabletop. Start to bring your legs forward, crawling forward slowly, then send your booty down behind you. There you go. I'll turn to face the camera for this. I want you to come into bound angle. The bottoms of your feet touch and your knees open as best you can. Some people like to sit on a blanket or a block for this. You're already in the pose. We'll hold here for a full minute. So as you sit up nice and tall, you breathe in. You can stay upright just like this, or you can start to soften and round forward. You'll find what's called your edge, and that's the place where you feel the stretch as deeply as possible without any pain. Some people say they feel a tingling or a heat sensation when they get to this point. You are halfway. Usually at the halfway point, 30 seconds in, you might find that your body is allowed space to go deeper. You want to find your deepest stretch and hold still there. For the sake of our video today, each posture is held only one minute. A lot of times we'll hold stretches like this for up to five minutes in a yin yoga practice. Do what feels best for you. We're almost there, last 10 seconds. Take a yin attitude with your breathing and just let it be natural and relaxed. Like we're moving through honey, we're gonna rise back up. Slowly, hands to the knees, draw your knees up. And windshield, or take your feet a little wider and gently move your knees side to side. Good. I'm going to move into a posture called shoelace. Take one leg, I'll start with my left leg underneath the right, and then I'll take my right leg on top of the left, and I'll sit as tall as I can in this posture called shoelace. You might take your thumbs and rub the arches of your feet, and as you feel right in that area, you might find a little tight spot when we think about yin yoga, we think about the fascia, the connective tissue in our body, and how it gets bulked up and sore. You're halfway. So as you move your thumbs around, you might find you find a little release here. We're most commonly aware of something called plantar fasciitis, where the fascia in the foot can get really sore. 
and tight from things like playing tennis or running. So yin yoga is the answer to that. We're going to release and find the same posture on the other side, moving slowly as if you are moving through honey. Do your best to match the shape. You might notice one hip is a little tighter than the other. That's true for me here. My hands again come to the bottoms of my feet in shoelace second side. Here we are at the last minute of our practice. And while you're holding side two, I wanna thank you so much for joining me for a quick little 10 minute transformation, yin yang yoga. I hope that you'll leave some comments, let me know your thoughts about the practice, and also be sure to subscribe, push that little red button, and share our channel, Free Yoga Club, with your family and friends. Thank you.